if someone informed the hatching. After four years working with sea turtles, I never get tired of, of this feeling. About the hatchlings, you have to take in account many factors. So it's a mixture between stress and adrenaline. And together with the collective emotion, and the volunteers being excited about seeing turtles for the first time, it keeps reminding you how how important is your job and how cool is it after all. So, so yeah, it's quite emotional. Falling in love with sea turtles started first by falling in love with the sea in general. Since I was young, I've always liked the sea. I guess just by looking at the waves and the hugeness of the sea, it's so immense that it gets you. So it's a mixture between love and respect. I have been here at Juara Turtle Project since March, and I will stay here for the whole nesting season until November, December. The main objective is uh, to sustain the population, to increase the population of the sea turtle, marine sea turtle. The threats of sea turtles faces currently mainly from human activities for sure. For mother turtles, they are scared of very bright lights, so they will not nest in a place that is full of lights. And then for the hatchlings, they get attracted by bright lights. So in natural conditions, the way they have to find the sea is following the brightest horizon. But when there's hotels or businesses or street lights at the back of the beach, they will swap and go towards this source of light. The TP itself, we do support them and advise them to do dim light and we provide them with um, that kind of light um, because they need to realise that marine, natural um, and uh, environment is very related to tourism activities. One of the biggest topics right now is plastic pollution. Sometimes uh, this plastic are mistaken as food by the sea turtle. We do have one turtle last year that uh, we found when she was rescued, she was in a bad condition. She had barnacles on the underside of her body, which means she had been swimming near the surface and moving very little for quite a while. We tried to save her, but she died that night. A lot of bile, oil, microplastic and string were found in her intestine. The last alteration in her intestine caused gas pocket to form, so she could not die. Because the green sea turtle could not eat more food and digest the food that she already ate, uh, she eventually starved to death. We do have weekly beach cleanup uh, because our beach where we are right now, we face uh, the open ocean. In the open ocean carry a lot more rubbish. We have to do the beach cleanup because if we don't do it, like all this rubbish is going to stay there for the next hundred of years. GTP is uh, built on the intention of to avoid 
the people from poaching the egg. Many locals used to eat turtle eggs. For poaching, luckily here we have managed to control it here in Juara with the hatchery. So what GTP do over here to help the nesting population here in Tioman is that we do patrol every single night from March until October. What we do, we look for turtle track. When it's turtle track, it means there are mother that come to the beach. So we're gonna, we have our local egg collector that we're going to try to find the eggs. And then we find the egg, we're going to relocate this egg into our hatchery. So we try to reproduce the natural conditions as much as possible. So we will make a new nest to place the eggs at the bottom. We count the eggs and we cover up the hole again. And then we put kind of a mesh around each nest. So once we are expecting a nest to hatch, the incubation period is around two months. So the release is quite an exciting thing. It's really cool to see how the hatchlings go for the first time. They make their way to the sea and how much they know what to do. Like even if nobody taught them, it's just in their instincts. For me, conservation and education have to be together. Like there's no point just having one if you don't have the other one. Volunteers, what they can do here, they can help us uh, with uh, spreading the info, information as our unofficial ambassador. I hope, of course, uh, like we will revive the population of sea turtles in Tioman, but we also hope to, uh, to make impact on the people so that people have more awareness, do more to help the environment. GTP is not only a turtle project, but it's also a people project.